House of Representatives, Representative Femi Baja Piamila, the Governor's Entourage, Distinguished Senator Barry Piggy, Chief Dan Obi, Vice Chairman South South Zone of the PDP, the Chief of Staff, Government House, Honorable Engineer Chukwemeka Woke, FNSE, Senator Olaka Wogo, Sir Siminalai Joseph Fubara, PDP Standard Bearer, River State, Senator Adawari Mark Peppel, Civil Service, Rufus N. Godwins, to take the opening prayer. Almighty God and everlasting Father, the giver of life and of all good gifts, and whose gift bless and make it rich without sorrow, we thank thee for the gift of life and of another day, 
and of the joining mercies and safety granted to all our dignitaries from far and wide, and bringing them to witness another promise fulfilled by our governor, whom we have given the vision to take this state from level to level to your glory and to your honor as a testimony that indeed you are with our people. Father, we invite thy presence, Heavenly Father, through the Holy Spirit to brood over these proceedings, that all that shall be done to the Heavenly Father shall stand as a memorial to your glory and to your honor. For this and all other messages we pray in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and of God the Holy Spirit. Your Excellency, Yesu is the one we K, C O N G S S R S, Power of Sports Africa, Governor of River State, the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, and our special guest, Representative Femi Bajabia Miller. Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Ipalebo Hari Banigo, D S S R S, Deputy Governor of River State. The Right Honorable Queen Owaji Bani, DSSRS, Speaker, River State House of Assembly. Chief Dan Obi, Vice Chairman, South South Zone of the People's Democratic Party. Distinguished Senator Barry Piggy, other senators and members of the National Assembly. The delegation of the Speaker of the Nigeria House of Representatives. And they include. Honorable Peter Apatastin, Deputy House Leader. Honorable Shegu Odewemi, Chairman, House Committee on Information. Honorable Yusuf Gardi, Chairman, House Committee, Navy. Honorable Ben Carlo, Chairman, House, of, House Committee on Media and Public Publication. Honorable Bala Kokani, Ambassador Desmond Akao, Chairman, PDP River State, Sa Siminalai Joseph Fubara, PDP Standard Bearer in River State, and his running mate, Professor Mrs. Ngozi Odu. The Deputy Speaker, Principal Officers, and Members of the River State House of Assembly, the Chief of Staff, and Members of the State Executive Council, Elder Statesmen. Your Majesty, King Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja J.P., J.K. V, Treaty King, and Amayanaba of Opobo. Chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, Your Majesties and Royal Highnesses, Special Advisors, Permanent Secretaries, Mayor and Chairman of Local Government Councils here present, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Welcome to the commissioning of the River State House of Assembly quarters constructed by the government of River State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point invite for the presentation of Kola, His Royal Majesty, Eze Uchechuku Azai Luku JP, Eze Pararebisi the 12th, Permanent Ruler, Port Harcourt. Republican about Mekau, River State Mekau, Nigeria Mekau, Eleven Emma, Ejuelam, Ohaka Niger, Rizigar, Bodu, Chilekiri, Libunova, Biko, Ejaka Zapak Gosinaya, Atala Atai Budogologo, Atala Atai Hiosiriki, Atala Atai Kunoba, Nikan Dani Ejaka Gosigano, Saburana of Lame Paya, Bawari, or Doha Dachi Kanadacha. Mbrame kwele mrumu wana ni ndi ya ndi bia kurani Yo duru wa notu notu duha na anoroba Elande wa maso oro Yo duru kwa notu notu duha na anoroba 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 Ochi state biko eje bia lango riko sinde bia kurani Yana maya matiso ajwa kukwono matakwa leji Kala mamekao 
అన్నిక్కం అన్నిక్కం Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give the welcome remarks, may I invite the Chairman of Harcourt City Local Government Area, Honorable Hunda Orwell. Your Excellency, yes, sir, as on we can see you in GSSRS, POS Africa, the Governor of River State, the Right Honorable Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Bajabamila, Bajabamila, Femi, I'm sorry please. Your Excellency, permit me to adopt the already established protocols. Your Excellency, on behalf of His Royal Majesty, the Eze Epra Rebisi, and the Paramount Ruler of Portacourt, and the good people of Portacourt City Local Government, we wish to humbly welcome you to this very special ceremony of the commissioning of the House of Assembly Porters, constructed by your administration. Your Excellency, our people are indeed very happy with you because of the numerous projects that you have cited in the city of Portacourt. Your Excellency, this is a clear testimony of your urban renewal policies. The entire nooks and crannies of Port Harcourt have experienced total transformation, and that is because you, are, you have shown your love for our people. Your Excellency, permit me, please, to kindly thank you on behalf of those who were engaged in the construction of these uh, quarters. They are standing there. I'm sure you saw them maybe when you came. They, all the workers that were engaged in one activity or the other, they are saying I should thank you on their behalf that this job has provided employment for them and has also impacted positively on their economic life. Thank you. Ibella Wei, Nerisi, Mekau, Mekau, Mekau. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I invite for the project description, Director of Ministry of Housing, River State, Mrs. Amakri White, Patience. CONGSSROS, Governor of River State. Rev. Femi Bajabiamila, Speaker of Nigeria House of Representatives. His Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Ipalibo Hari Baningo, Deputy Governor of River State. Right Honorable Queen Owali Ibani, Speaker of River State House of Assembly. All protocol duly observed. On behalf of Minister of Housing, I welcome all of you to this epoch-making ceremony. Without wasting time, I have to go straight to the project description. The award of this project was in two parts. One for construction, which was handled by Lubrics Company, and Julius Berger and Tudor Ashley handled the furnishing. The project duration was 16 months. From the date of award in January 2021, so we commend the two contractors for their efficiency, speed, and quality project delivery. <clears throat> project description. The project is made up of 16 blocks of four-bedroom detached duplex, making a total of 32 units of, 32 units of bedroom duplexes. It is a prototype building 
in which the description of one unit covers the 32. The ground floor, space within, you have the entrance foyer, you have the lounge, the dining, a fitted kitchen, visitors convenience, guest room, two bedroom, boys quarters, all in suits. The first floor, you have the children bedroom and suits, they have the madam's bedroom and suit, the family lunch, the master's bedroom, the balcony. Then the auxiliary buildings. You have the multi-purpose hall, space within, you have the kitchen, you have the store. We have the VIP room with convenience, a very large auditorium with a seating capacity of over 300 persons. Male and female conveniences, parking space of a minimum of 40 cars. We have the security house, the security house, the space within, we have the four bedroom, the kitchen, the restroom. Guest, guest house one has a security post for surveillance of the entire building and its facilities. Guest house two has a security post, entrance and exit can be accessed from a bar road opposite the former NDDC building. Guest house three has a security post can be accessed through the MOPO 19 barracks, the generator house, two number 800 kVA generator, transformer room, control room, and store for diesels. Would come about the tanks. We have three number overhead tanks with a combined capacity of 150 liters and its water treatment. The underground safety tank and soak away pit the green areas. As we can see, the landscaping and beautification works done. Finally, we thank our amiable governor for giving the Ministry of Housing the opportunity to handle this beautiful edifice. We say thank you and God bless you all. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I crave your indulgence to please pay attention to the screen behind me as a three-minute documentary on what this premises used to be and what it is now.
gentlemen, please can we put our hands together once more? May I now invite for his remarks on behalf of the contractor Lubrick Construction Company Limited, the managing director Hadi Chihadi. His Excellency, the Governor of River State, Chief Baristo Nyezom Ezeno Wike CONCSSRS, the special guest of honor, the Right Honorable Femi Bajaban Mila, Speaker House of Representatives, and all protocol respectfully of birth. It gives us great pride to welcome Your Excellency and his distinguished guest to the official commissioning of the River State House of Assembly Quarter. When the contract of this project was awarded to our company, His Excellency stressed its importance to his administration. We are thankful that we just justified the confidence reposed in us by delivering these beautiful quarters, which are the highest standard to specification on time and on budget. Once again, we thank His Excellency for the privilege and opportunity to be a part of his transformation project. I thank you, and we remain at your service, sir. Long live River State. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point invite to give his remarks the Speaker of River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Ikui Owaji Bani. Your Excellency, the Governor of River State. A courageous man, a man who knows how to keep friendship, a man who symbolizes development, a man who symbolizes progress. The governor of Riverside, Nyesum, SMO, Wiki, CON, GSSRUS, POS Africa. Our special guest, the presiding officer of the lower chamber of a bicameral legislature of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Speaker of Federal House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State. I know that you are here with other National Assembly members. I can see the distinguished senator representing Southeast Senatorial District in no particular order. Let me recognize all National Assembly members who are on your entourage to witness this special day. The Vice Chairman, South South, a man who symbolizes true friendship. I have observed from the sideline that true friendship you have exhibited in relation to our governor. I want to salute you. I want to thank you on behalf of River State House of Assembly, Vice Chairman South South People's Democratic Party, State Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, the standard bearer of the People's Democratic Party, River State, and your deputy. Our Royal Majesties, led by the Chairman of uh, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, for want of time and given the fact that the climate, the weather is not clement enough, let me abridge my speech. Our special guest, you will better appreciate what you are witnessing here today if you were here before now. As a lawmaker, as a legislator, you would have wept, but given the short documentary, you have seen it all. I want to thank the governor. What we are doing here today shows the level of commitment he has for the people. It shows development. It shows progress. For us as assembly members, we we'll continually remain grateful to him. For Governor Nyeso Meze Wawike, he has changed the narrative in terms of infrastructural development. You know, when you talk of social change, social change entails two things. 
progress and development, it is symbolized in all projects. Governor Nyen Somese in one week as governor of River State is executing in River State. This is what, as the presiding officer of a junior chamber to yours, River State House of Assembly, I wish to state and put this on record that the governor of River State deals with the people with honesty, dedication, believing that all that he does is what will take the people from a lower level to a higher level. And today, what you have seen here exemplifies that. I have been in assembly for seven years, for, for 15 years as a member of River State House of Assembly. I'm doing the 16th year. I have not seen anything like this. He also built a very iconic official residence for the Speaker of River State House of Assembly. This is what he does. He does these things as a leader who cannot turn back to attack democratic institutions that have benefited him. Rather, he is a leader that can encourage, that can improve, that can bring superior status to democratic institutions in a nation, in a world where leaders who have benefited from democratic institutions turn the other way to Manaku or make sure they lose their value. Yes, on Wiki builds democracy in River State. That is why you can come, you can be invited to come and commission a project like this. It is iconic. On behalf of principal officers and members of River State House of Assembly, I welcome you and I thank you for accepting against party lines, across party lines you are here to commission this. Let me thank you on behalf of my members. We are happy and will continue to work for the people. Thank you and may God bless you as you do this assignment. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may at this point respectfully invite to give a speech the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesum Ezewawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Seven Star of River State, Power of Sports, Africa. <laughs> Our special guest of honor, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, my colleague as a legal practitioner, Femi Bajabi Miller, the Deputy Leader of the House of Representatives. Members of National Assembly that are here, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly and members of the State House of Assembly, sorry, Your Excellency Deputy Governor, sometimes when you are here, you will not even see very well. I'm sorry for that. The Chairman of our great party, the Zonal Chairman, the Chairman of the State Traditional Relations Council, leaders of our party that are here, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, forget about the rain, we have conquered. Mr. Speaker, let me, on behalf of the government and people of the state, most sincerely thank you and members of your entourage for accepting to come and commission this edifice for your junior colleagues in the state. Before I go into that, let me say, and to let Nigerians know that people have called me throughout this morning all kinds of things that I, I went to court against Atiku Abubakar. I want to say categorically 
if I had reason to go to court, I would go to court. But I didn't go to court. I just have to say it for Nigerians to know. I have kept quiet and busy delivering dividends of democracy. For my party to win election in River State, people are busy plotting how they win election. Rather, our people are busy trying to see how they will lose the election. If they lose the election, nobody should call my name. I have told the candidates, you will lose this election, you will win this election because of people around you. Anybody who knows me is not too well. If I was going to court, I would have gone to court within two weeks after the primaries because it is a pre-election matter. And after two weeks, he can't go to court. The legal advisor of the party called me and now told me he knows that there's a mischief going on. That he knows me very well. If I'm going to court, it's not those kind of lawyers I would have used. And I don't even know the lawyers. But I want to tell the candidate, it is the candidate group that are doing all these things. Let the word hear. They are the ones plotting all these things, thinking that they will spoil my name. You cannot. Yesterday they said, I removed all PDP uh, flags in River State Government House. We are supposed to be talking about how you win an election. It's not about these rent seekers around people. They are not doing him any favor. Rather, they are, they are trying to make him not to win election. But if that's what they wish, I wish them good luck. I wish them good luck. But after my commission of projects, nobody should say we can have started you. But when I start, when I start, when I start, when I start, <laughs> uh, I've been on my own. They are looking for trouble. When there's no trouble, like this man, the first man from our community, he's late. His name is uh, Rizidon Echawu. He said, he, has, he does not understand this country. That they said, ah, he's not married. People are worried. He's not worried. Oh, Echawu does not chop his for mother's food. He's not worried. People are Which is not important. Which is not worried. People are worried. Rivers leaders, they have met you. People, uh, which is not worried. People are worried. My only is to come out in the public and tell the world. Allow peace to. Allow peace to. If you say your mother will not sleep, you too, you will not uh, sleep. At appropriate uh, So I have I'm busy commissioning projects. Tell those who are supporting you to also go and commission projects to win their states. This is my own campaign. This is our own campaign to make our candidates to win a election. I didn't go to court. I have no reason to go to court. But those of you who are plotting and put my name that I went to court for you to come out now to say, oh, we can want to go, shame will be on you. Shame will be on all of you. Tell them shame, shame, shame. shame. Tell them shame, shame, shame. 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 As for my son, he depend them. As he does you with you, you go bury them. Don't worry, it's a race fight. Don't worry. Proper time, we'll sing it for them. Uh -huh. You see, a man is not talking. I'm doing my work. Leave me to do my work. You're worried. Concording, concording everything, every day. Social media cannot make you to win. A... Election is by the people. 
by the people. Let those who are in Abuja with you, tell them to go home and campaign for you to win a... Live wicked. Enough. Live wicked. Enough. Live wicked. Enough. 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 Now, Mr. Speaker, let me tell you today why I do not invite you here because you are the APC member. I invited you because of the role you played for River State to get their money. And I said, come and see what I've done with that money, part of it. I was one of the last states that federal government refunded money on Paris Club. Nobody wanted to give me because they say I'm outspoken, they say I'm fighting for PDP. But when eventually, to the late Abakari, who is so rest in perfect peace, did everything with Fashola. God, uh, Minister of Works, the letter came to you. You called me and said, my brother, I will help you. Yes, even though people may oppose, but I will help you. He never demanded a, a dime from me. Never. Never. I was one of those who plotted that you should not be speaker. I have no regret because my business is not to help your party that time, even now. My business is to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> so I was supporting, it was in government as large river state in Abuja. When we plotted, you should not go. We plotted. Three people, governors, sold me out. They supported you. Even when we have agreed, that the family should not go. Lawa should not go. As a party, they went back and supported you. And that was how you made Ndudelimelu the minority leader. Even when we wrote you a letter, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> you know, people don't like the truth, but the truth must be told at all times. You disregarded our party letter and made him the Del Melu leader. These are people who sold PDP. The truth must be told at all times. When I saw them, the writer, they said, We will impeach the Buhari. They don't have the balls. They don't have it. They don't have it. Today, they are saying, Impeach Buhari. Ordinary to override a lot of other current. <laughs> I do it that they cannot talk now. It's impeachment. Let me see who will stand up and say, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, they think they can use Nigeria as up and down. Why you? Something you know you cannot do. Why do you say it out? Why do you say that? Mr. Speaker, you see, I told you in my house before we came here. I plotted against you. If I saw another way to plot, I would plot. <laughs> because you are in a different party. I'm in a different uh, party. Anything that will make you not uncomfortable is my business. That's no position. But look, you're a good man. One day you called me. He said, look, Governor, this is your life. Hey, you oppose me every day and this and this. He said, do you have a name? I said, which name? He said, as an appointment, give me a name. I said, me. He said, me. Are you sure? He said, no, give me a name. I gave you. The person was appointed. You see, it's not, it's not about, you see, people do things party, party, party. I look at people now. You know, it pains me so much. In 2019, I said, look. When I see people talking about PDP today, talking, about, I just I say, God, what is going on in this world? In the South South, well, they all be tell us. Do worry would it have won 2019 election? 
Because you wouldn't have had the strength. But all the states in the south south, many Buhari to have 25 percent. People said you know the Buhari to the five percent. I challenge anybody, anybody. Today I see people talking about PDP. PDP. When we were supposed to have one election 2019 under Atiku, River State gave the highest vote. River State gave the highest support in terms of logistics. I say to that anybody, let everybody come and contradict me. And people are talking about PDP that they are lawyer. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. So that our party in 2019 election. I told Atiku the other day, I said, you now, nah, all those are governors that you think they are good with you. What happened in 2019? What happened? Nobody wants to see the truth. My life. Everybody. Today, instead of them to plot out to win the election, every morning, every afternoon, every night, we can... Every day, weekend. Weekend is not important. Why are you worried? Weekend is not important. Why are you worried? Allow weekend to. Happy Gimana, Happy Gimana, Happy Gimana, Happy Gimana, Happy Gimana, Happy Gimana, Everybody go to your state. Deliver. Operation A. Deliver. Operation A. Deliver. It's not to talk, 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 talk. It's not to say in Abuja. I don't stay in Abuja. I don't sleep there. I'm here every day with my people. With my people. I will tell the first people of President Shoya report. Uh, See my report card. See our report card. See why you will vote for our governorship uh, candidate. See why you vote for the other candidate. It's not to go to Abuja. Mr. Speaker, as we finish here, we're going to pop up some champagne. <laughs> Come on, we have done well. We have done well. Look at the money, see. Ask Nigerians, ask your people. The money they gave to them, account for the money. I can account for the money. See part of the money here. See part of the money. Go to the cancer center before you go, speaker. You go to the cancer center. You go to the law school, built in less than one year. You go to the judges' quarters. Go to flyover one. Fly over two, fly over three, fly over four, fly over five, fly over six, fly over seven, fly over eight, fly over nine, fly over ten, fly over eleven, fly over twelve. Oh yeah, ba, ha ba, ha ba. Follow the road, river people. Follow the road, now we can. I didn't contest a lesson for you to like me. I contest a lesson to render service to the people of the state. We are proud. Mr. Speaker, see where you are. See where you are. Look at. You know, some people don't have taste. When they will have land, they will build house. They will all part of the land, even put into logging. Look at. Look at landscaping. Speaker. Speaker. Where you go, the federal government add money for weekend. You are done well. They're doing well. You know, he, he built by Lubricks, funded by Julius Beggar. Look at the standard. Who will not, who will not live here and will not do good law? Tell me. Who will not live here and the wife will not love you? No, tell me. In a good environment, well furnished, what is love? You see your wife petting you or your girlfriend petting you every day. Every day. Baby, I love you. I love you. See my mouth. Look at the environment the, the, the legislators are going to live in. They will make good laws. They will think well. Everything is provided here. That's what it's supposed to be. We complement each other. <laughs> Executive, 
legislation and the judiciary. Go and see what we have done for the judiciary. So it is all about passion. It's all about commitment to your people. Some people say it's money. It is not money. The little you have, show what you can do. If they give you one billion naira, you cannot do anything. If they give you twenty billion, you cannot do anything. So it's not about about the quantum, about the quantity of money. It is about your commitment. It is about your passion, your love for your state, for your country. As I said before, party does not provide leadership. Leadership is in you. Take me to any party, to the Labour Party, YPP, Zero PP, NPP, anything that will perform. The question is me. Party is a vehicle that takes you to your destination for you to actualize your capacity. And that's what we are doing today. Every day, commissioning flagging up. Every day. We are not doing on Monday because our leader will be having 74 birthday. So we will honor him that day. From Tuesday again, we will start. Commissioning, flagging off, commissioning, flagging off. People are dying. It's not my business. You die. They bury you. You die. After the population, I just too much. So I want to see how the population will uh, come down. It's not my business. If you want to die, you die. I have not started politics. All I'm doing now is to deliver dividends of uh, democracy. That's my business. When I start politics, I will shock them. Do you know what I will uh, shock them? They think it was a mistake when I went to read political science, then I went again to read law. You think I don't want to be? I will shock them. Some people think that you say something. But the Lord of the Nazis has said, God, Mora, Mora, nobody can be Mora like Wike. So the first people ask me, Wike, where is our money? Ask me, ask me. I'll tell you, go to Transcalabari Road. It's not correct. I'll tell you, we are two days from Ahuda, isn't it? Go to Ahuda. You see the donation of Ahuda Road. I'll tell you what to do in my last place. Some want to call now. No, be so. Now, the speaker was with us two days ago. I hear secondaries cannot go home for campaign. I've told him to come. Grand Free San Domingo said he can go home and campaign. Wow. It's my job to make it possible for them to go home. When you go home, you meet with your people. If they love you, they love you. If they don't like you, it's not my business. <laughs> don't give me because that people don't love you, it's not me. So, if every public office holder, particularly the executive, can account for the money we have gotten, Nigeria will not be like this. The only problem I have, even the latrice, they are really deceived. Stories, Muslim, Muslim, Christian, Muslim, native doctor, native doctor, this and that. Is that our problem now? Is that our problem? At that problem time, we'll talk politics. We need leadership to move this country forward. And people like you, because if you not play politics or party, there was nothing that was not done to make sure that money didn't come to us. So I said, look, you must come and see part of what we have used that money to do. You go around here, you won't stop here, go around. When you go around, you compare and contrast. As those who the exam, compare and uh, contrast. And then you go inside. I will not mention somebody's one governor's name. I will mention him. Who went to commission a project? I got there. They say it's an estate. My brother, cement, it was uh, not no tile, no furnishing, nothing. Grass is everywhere. Look at where you came, like where you go land. Look at where you go land. This can compare to anywhere in Europe. 
Who doesn't like good things? Even you now, you told me the boss, if you wish now, if they can find you a place, I said, no, it's not available. It's not available for people like you. It's only available for our people here. You know, so, I invited you here as a man who supported me to get it, to get the money. And so you don't say, the money I help you to get, what do you do with it? Come and see. Seeing is what? Believing. Seeing is what? Believing. Come and see what I've done with the money. Part of the money. Go when you, you, you must not go, you must drive. Go to the law school. And see the seven wonders of the world. Seven wonders of the world. To be built in less than one year. Where has it happened? Okay. If you didn't dare, you didn't dare. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing. God has given us that intellect. God has given us that capacity. Some of you can have first class. Use the first class to show you have capacity. No, so. You can have first class, now you can be a mumu now. It's not true. It's not I have first class. I made first class. What's my business? It's your own. <laughs> you should use it and show capacity. It's not to say I have a class I have. So, what do you use it for? Nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. I will reply some people very soon. Not now. I don't want you to be here before I reply there because you too, you are looking for trouble in my family. So I'm being very, very... I invited as my friend. If I wanted to invite you as APC member, I would have visited a national chairman to allow me to invite you. But this one I invited as my friend, as the man who contributed to what I have achieved today. I said, you are part of this story. And God will not allow me to abandon those, forget those who have supported me one way or the other. To achieve what we have uh, achieved, I don't tire. Speaker, speaker, I beg, make you come. Talk to him, ask you come. Commission, this problem will go pop champagne. We have done well. We have done well. Thank you, and God bless you. Excellency, Executive Governor of River State, Nyesom Ezenwo Wike, CON, the Deputy Governor, Pali Bohari Barigo, my very esteemed colleagues who are here with me from the House of Representatives led by the Deputy Leader of the House, Honorable Akwatasi. The Vice Chairman, South South PDP, Chief Dan Obi. My friend and colleague, the Speaker of the River State Assembly, Honorable Owagi and the Deputy Speaker and members of the State Assembly. Good afternoon. Let me very quickly correct the Speaker of the River State Assembly. There is nothing in our lexicon like the 
lower chambers. What we have is a bicameral legislature that is equal for the Senate and the House. I thought I would mention that there because it's an often repeated uh, phrase, so you're not alone, but uh, it's always good to correct misconceptions. So I say good afternoon. And let me very quickly start off my remarks by thanking the governor, my friend and brother, for a confession that has been known to all forever that you plotted against me. It is the irony of life, and indeed very interesting, the twist of fate, that those who you sat with to plot against me are the same people that sat together at your primaries to plot against you. So plotting is not necessarily a new thing in politics. But what is constant is that in politics there are no permanent enemies, there are no permanent friends, but what you have is permanent interests. And by God's grace, this one that you have started, this journey that you have started that you and I both know shall be permanent. I didn't hear you say permanent, the governor. It shall be permanent. Please choke them. I say choke. I say choke. I'm trying to speak like you. I was in the United States about a week ago when uh, His Excellency called me just to follow up on our previous conversations about coming to do this commission. Uh, because of who he is and what he is to me, it did not take me any, I did not have to think hard to cut my vacation short and come home for this. My presence here today, ladies and gentlemen, is... But before I go there, let me... Because I remember the, His Excellency was talking about... Um, and I was very impressed. You fly over one, fly over two, fly over three, fly over four. And I think if I heard you correctly, you stopped at fly over 12. And that's very impressive. But Your Excellency, if you come to Lagos, you will be counting flyover one all the way to flyover 1,000. And that's a fact. They are not using one administration. If you didn't there, you didn't there. Your Excellency, you are pretending that you are on your phone. Listen to me. Put the phone down. Listen to me. You know, that is the fun of being the speaker and the number four citizen. When you are in a gathering like this, you get to speak last. And therefore, the Excellency, His Excellency cannot even come back to reply me. That's the advantage I have. So listen to me and listen to me very carefully. My presence here today is, among other things, a repudiation of those who believe that political differences justify vicious assaults on the humanity of others. I am here to tell them that even though Governor Wiki and I may belong to different political parties and come from different cultures, we are united in our desire to see a peaceful and prosperous Nigeria. 
and we are joined at the hips in our determination to stand together against those who wish to destroy our country by practicing politics that amounts to nothing more than a frenetic appeal to anger, fear, and resentment. Ladies and gentlemen, at every significant juncture of our nation's history, this city of Port Harcourt and the people of River State have played influential roles. As it was in the beginning, so it is now. At this critical stage in our history, when the choices we make about politics and governance are likely to reverberate long after all of us here today have left the scene for others who are coming behind us. It is providential that at this moment in time, River State is governed by none other than His Excellency Nyesom Ezenwo Wike, a tested administrator and politician par excellence who practices politics of courage and conviction and has proven time and again his capacity to govern without, with vision and with competence. Today we have gathered to commission the official residences of the River State House of Assembly members and this project intends to ensure that the legislators who make laws for the people of the state, who hold the executive to account and advocate for the people's interests can function in a conducive and convenient environment. It is a worthy achievement that will long impact the performance of the legislature in this state and stand to the credit of the men and women who envisioned and executed it. When I drove in, quite honestly, I looked around very briefly and I couldn't help but notice uh, the, 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 the splendor of the estate, the beautifully manicured lawns, the serene environment, and what appears to be quality sit, uh, artisanship and the appurtenances that are around. And I nodded in silent appreciation and marveled at this incredible achievement. I saw pictures of the before and I saw the after. And I couldn't help but notice during the three minute video that was shown on the screen where the governor when I think this place was just at about 20-30% was going around inspecting. Many might see that as just, yeah, people inspect every day, they inspect, uh, he came on inspection. But I could feel the passion that when he was inspecting, you can see these things through the lenses, or through, the, through the screen, that the passion was not so much for the building, which was amazing in itself, but for the people who he was actually building for, and that is the legislators. It is this cooperation, cooperation between branches of government actually lies at the heart of every successful experiment in democratic governance. The Westminster parliamentary system sought to achieve this cooperation by embedding the executive within the legislature. In our own system, both institutions exist independently of each other. This independence coupled with mutual respect between both arms of government is the best way to ensure that the public interest takes preeminence in the consideration and implementation of public policy. Ladies and gentlemen, the highest test of our democratic experiment lies in our ability to deliver policies and programs that improve the lives of our people. And we achieve this objective by building ladders of opportunity that allow them to achieve the highest aspirations of their hearts. Now, if we can accomplish this, we have justified our public service. But if we fail, then nothing else will matter. With this project, his Excellency Nyesom Mezenwo Wike 
has demonstrated his recognition of the vital role of the legislators in a functioning democracy. It now falls to the present and future legislators to live up to the high expectations of their office and justify the confidence reposed in them. For the legislators who will use and benefit from this estate, these houses now stand as a debt that you owe the people on whose behalf you serve. Let it be that every hour you will spend in these residences, you devote your mind to the service of your people and to doing that which will ensure the survival of democracy and the upliftment of River State and continued peace and progress of Nigeria. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and privilege to commission these official residences for the members of the River State House of Assembly to the glory of God and in service of the people of River State. I applaud the Governor, His Excellency Nyesom Ezenwo Wike, for this accomplishment, and I congratulate the Speaker, Right Honorable Ibani, and all the members of the River State House of Assembly. I believe that when the Governor finally chokes them, the members of the State Assembly will be coming with him to where he is destined to be. We await you, Your Excellency, and very eagerly too. Do not let anybody, let me build on what you have said. Do not let anybody intimidate you. At the appropriate time, you will tell them. You will choke them. God bless you. God bless the government and people of River State. And God bless our Federal Republic. Thank you very much. of the uh, people of River State are hereby commissioned for this magnificent edifice for the legislators of River State Assembly.
2022 it gives me a singular honor and privilege to unveil this plaque the River State House of Assembly quarters which was built by His Excellency Nyeso Mezenwo Wike CON congratulations to the speaker and members and congratulations um, Mr. Governor thank you
television event. 